I want to talk about something here. If you're a new listener, you'll tune in and say, okay, yeah, this guy sounds like a libertarian slash right winger. And, I'm, you know, he's a little radical, but a lot of what he says I already know about. Big deal. I, I want you to understand something. If you're a longtime listener, you're sitting back going, no. Alex has been talking about this for 18 years. There are people listening in Austin, Texas that have been watching and listening to yours truly for 18 years. And the reason I point that out is we trailblazed. I trailblazed. And I'm not, I'm not bragging here. The point is I was able to trailblaze because everything you're seeing announced now is between five and 50 years behind what's really going on. A lot of it's three or four, five, six, you know, 10, 20 years behind. But a lot of it is 20, 30, 40, 50 years behind. In research papers, in CIA reports, in State Department Memorandum 200, I mean, all these things I'm saying mean things. Look them up. In Eco Science, written by the White House Science Czar, in 1974, the year I was born, stuff like that. I mean, I mean, here's an example. The ACLU has come out, and we have the article up on Infowars.com. Watch this. Is your future, again, watch. This is your future ordering a pizza in 2015. This is an article out today with an ACLU report. Now, here is um, from 2004, USA Today. See, when I say something, and I, and I just say, when you order a pizza, they're spying on you, and it's hooked into the NSA, and you think, oh, he just said that. That's a gestalt of things I already know in triplicate. You see, before this was in USA Today, I knew, when, before I got on air, that it was in financial and, and military publications that everything and every purchase you made digitally was already put in a Pentagon computer and mapped in 1986 and then stored in a computer called The Beast. I didn't make that up in Brussels, Belgium. Yeah, I just, if you're a radio listener, I just showed the article from USA Today on the screen. We have a free video feed at Infowars.com forward slash show. But, but anybody can just, so, so, so there's articles out and the ACLU is out going, oh, soon when you order a pizza, they're going to run it through an NSA database. No. No. In the 19, the mid-1980s, 84, 85, 86 is when this stuff all went online publicly. Publicly. I remember being in church in the mid-80s and hearing the preacher read this out of the newspaper. Okay, so let's just get this straight. When you hear me cover something, this is very important. About 95% of the time, conservatively, it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 year old news, okay? I mean, if I tell you they're putting cancer viruses in your vaccines, they had congressional hearings in 1969 and estimated over 100 million Americans got cancer from the polio vaccine alone. And my crew just sits in there and types in congressional hearings on cancer virus in polio vaccine, and they can pull it up, you can pull it up. Everything I say, you can put in a search engine that's really an NSA two-way system. You can put it in and you can pull it up, okay? I, I, I'm gonna say that again. And by the way, they didn't do it on accident. The PBS out of Boston interviewed one of the inventors with Sock, and they bragged, they put it in there, and they said, quote, because there's too many people. Just type in polio vaccine uh, inventor admits they put cancer viruses in vaccine on purpose. You'll get that. And he, he laughs about it. See, 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 here's the deal. I'm talking to you about the real world here. Okay, and, and you can choose to say, oh, that guy's out of control. But I mean, look, look, this is not me. This is USA Today saying when you order a pizza from any of the major pizza companies, many of them, their main profit is tracking people with the federal government. Tens of billions a year are spent. 
and it's run through a criminal database to track exactly where you're at. And then they decide if they want to come SWAT team you for warrants or whatever. Your rights aren't read to you when you order a pizza. So when I come back, I'm going to explain what a social contract is. And I'm going to point out that the people running things have broken it premeditatedly, consciously. And the nanny state isn't your friend. It's a bear trap with cyanide injectors. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back live. Alex Jones here. Thank you for joining us on the Sunday edition. Let's go ahead now and get into the Webster's, a Marion Webster definition of the social contract, okay? Let's go over the social contract because many analysts, many historians from across the political spectrum uh, are now saying the social contract is broken. I saw a New York Times headline. A few days ago. So, so the system's gone from denying there's any corruption, denying there's any problems, to saying, oh my gosh, we do have an out of control government and an out of control corporate system. And there are all these people above the law. And there are all these rich people that are tax exempt who lobby to raise taxes on the little people. You see, a lot of little people who are mid level establishment technicians and gatekeepers are starting to figure out they're not going to be part of the ruling establishment. They're starting to figure out there's not a lot of room at the authoritarian top. There's a lot more room at the top in a free, diverse, economic, cultural system that has a real social contract. And very few countries have a good social contract. I can count on one hand Nations and empires and systems that had decent social contracts. One hand, one hand, England for a few periods, a few areas of Western Europe for short periods, Rome for a short period, a few of the nation states of Greece for a short period, the United States for a short period. And generally, you end up getting a free society when people revolt and don't submit to command and control organized monopoly economies. Australia was a slave penal colony for the first hundred years plus of its existence until people revolted, just like we did here in 1776. We revolted in Texas against the dictator Santa Ana. And so we became the wealthiest state in the wealthiest country in the world per capita. But everywhere where people laid down, North Korea, Mexico, Nigeria, on and on and on, you have poverty, degradation, and secret police, and men with machine guns on the corner, but everyone else is disarmed. See, all the telltale signs of a tyranny. So let me go over the social contract, because if we don't get it back, because a lot of you are like, I don't care if they spy on me. I don't care if they take my liberties. What do I have to hide? That's like telling your kid, hey, you have nothing to hide when you're playing in the front yard. If a man pulls up in a white van, you have nothing to hide, Jimmy or Jenny. Go ahead and go get in the van with the nice man that looks like Jeffrey Dahmer crossed with uh, Attila the Hun mixed in with uh, Charlie Manson. Um, go ahead and go get in the car with the man dressed up like Crispy the Clown and go on down in his basement with him, too, because you have nothing to hide. Listen, we've got due process in our rights because there's always groups of tyrants and special interests that like to take over towns, cities, counties, states, and countries, and then enslave everybody. You know all the old westerns, probably the most uh, you know, classical thing on Gunsmoke or in John Wayne movies or in The Rifleman? Every time I see the Rifleman on TV, I'll be on some trip and have the TV on and the Rifleman's on on one of the family channels. And some corrupt groups taken over the town. And, they, and, you know, some corrupt sheriffs brought in some gunslingers. Everybody's intimidated. And why the Rifleman, McCain's got to stand up to them. 
Did you know that if you study Western history, but Southern history, Northern history, this whole country, Australia was the same, Canada was the same. It was constantly townspeople in shootouts with the corrupt government overthrowing it. Those are true stories, folks, that you see turned into fiction in every other uh, movie where uh, the old you know, military man has to stand up to the bad guys because they rape his wife and kill his kids or vice versa. We see that with Clint Eastwood. You know, many of those Clint Eastwood movies, because I know history, I've studied it, you can do it too, are actually real stories. Even in the same real towns, they don't even tell you it's a real story when you're watching it. And our ancestors went through that. But let me tell you, if they had better propaganda 150 years ago, the railroad would have come into town and said, we're here to offer security. And they would have blown up the bank. They would have hired their own desperados to rob the bank, run a false flag, and then taken everybody's liberties in the name of stopping the desperados, the bandits. Well, actually, there are some real cases of that. But people didn't trust the system. And people were wily. And they'd rather die than lay down. And so we had a free country compared to every other nation. The American system. And when you say the establishment's broken the social contract, we don't have a king. We don't have a lord. We don't have a god that is the government. We have a god above that, so the state is not god. Our, our rights come from god. Even if you're an atheist, you should love the beauty of that because it means the state can't become the god. So let's read from Merriam-Webster's definition of social contract and ask if it hasn't been broken. Social contract, actual or hypothetical compact between the ruled and their ruler. So it's we the people. So see, we've broken our own compact and let the tyrants take over. The original in... Inspiration for the notion may derive from the biblical covenant between God and Abraham, but it is most closely associated with the writings of Thomas Hobbes and John Locke. Locke believed that rulers also were obliged to protect private property and the right to the freedom of thought, speech, and worship. And it goes on to say that when that is broken, you are living in a Tyranny, a broken social contract. Now, who can deny we're living in a social contract? They've lied to us about everything. Government narcotics trafficking, government corruption, uh, the corporations that come and buy off the government, the special interest, uh, the laws they're passing that are purely unconstitutional, the looting of the treasury. But let's just look at the current situation. Here's McClatchy newspapers. Mood shifting. Congress may move to limit NSA spying. No, what's really happened here is this has become so obvious now they want to do window dressing. It's like when the torture came out, the illegal torture of innocent people even, as if torture wasn't bad enough. And so they tried to pass laws saying they get rid of torture, but actually it codified torture, just calling it something else. So that's what's really going on there. Congress has been part of all of this, just like they've been part of the NSA spying. And it turned out they would tell the NSA, don't brief us, we don't want to know. They're just selling out as fast as they can, wanting to uh, not be involved in the felonies. So here's another one. NSA phone snooping cannot be challenged in court. The feds say. Yeah, Hitler said he was above the law. So did Richard Nixon. Bill Clinton said he was above the law. This is the essence of tyrants. They say they are sovereign, not the law, not the general people. The National Security Agency headquarters has now responded to lawsuits telling a federal judge that wholesale vacuum up of all phone data in the United States is a public interest, and they decide it. Of course, our law, our Constitution, common sense, says it'll be used by special interest to corner markets, to manipulate markets, to shut down competition, and it comes out they're not spying on terrorists. The globalists run most of the terrorists. That's on record now. See, so told you that for years, now it's on record. Because the cutting edge of this is that they, they don't just spy on us. All this data ends up coming out in the open. So see, they're now saying they're above the law. Now, let's look at the next article here. Move over NSA. Here comes the Obamacare Big Brother database. And this is a story from Rare.us. Breaking down all the subsections and the GOA report 
going on to say that this basically was a cover to legalize all the different federal agencies spying without warrants and to allow them to share it unlimited. But again, a law that's unconstitutional, Marbury versus Madison, is null and void. We're going to come back and talk about how we get our social contract back straight ahead. Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is. It's an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states. And the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, InfoWars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at InfoWars.com. InfoWars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past. And I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence that know this information is true but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the New World Order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team.